Hey everyone, it's Ashley and today I am bringing you my review for The 100 by Cass Morgan. Um, unfortunately, I could not obtain the original cover. I generally hate getting the TV covers, but... The 100 follows four main characters, Clark, Glass, Wells, and Bellamy. Um, all of them are kids in this super, super distant future where a nuclear war has happened and the only way for the human race to survive was to put themselves on spaceships and send them up into space to live in space until the radiation had gone away from Earth and they could go back down. It has been hundreds of years and they still cannot send people to the ground and they don't know what's going on and at the beginning of the book you find out that a hundred juvenile delinquents from the spaceship are being a spaceship. I think they call it the colony in the book. They call it the Ark in the TV show. Um, they send a hundred of those kids down to Earth in a shuttle-like thing to see if the Earth is survivable. And it follows four main characters in four very different places, both figuratively and literally, as in like mentally and physically. Um, and those four main characters kind of have their own stuff going on. All four of them get a narrative arc in the story, as well as their own kind of voice, if that makes sense. Um, it's quite different from the TV show. If you have watched the TV show, you will still totally like the book because it's quite different. For those of you who have watched the TV show, you are well aware that Glass actually is not a character in the TV show. So the TV show and the book actually differ in quite large ways, so I would still recommend reading the book if you have not done that. This book not only has four main characters telling a point of view, but it also has present day and past as well. I have no idea how this author interweaved all of that together without it kind of just crumbling underneath her. Um, but every character, because they're all hiding so many secrets, um, you as a reader read present day and then you also read like the past that kind of got them to present day so that you can understand what happened to them before they kind of made them who they are now. As most of you know, I am a huge fan of multiple narrations. This one has four main characters and when I went into it I was a bit hesitant, um, mainly because generally two characters is pretty hard for an author to do, let alone four, but since all four main characters were kind of, they felt lost and lonely and they all kind of had their own thing going on. It was okay that the characters kind of felt a tad bit similar sometimes because they had some very large differing aspects to them that kind of set them apart for me, such as Bellamy is kind of just obsessed with making sure that his sister stays safe. Clark is hiding some secrets of her own and trying to avoid certain people. Wells is kind of just obsessed with Clark and wanting to make sure that everyone stays alive. And Glass is kind of trying to figure out her own love issues, if that makes sense. That No, that makes Glass sound like, like a lovesick teenager and that's not what she is. Glass actually has been through a lot, and there's a lot, but the main point is that she's in love with someone that it seems like she cannot have. This story unfolds very well. Every single character is hiding something, every character is going through their own internal struggles, and every character is projecting that on probably the wrong people. I really liked that this author made every single character both redeemable and tragic and kind of terrible. Like every character has done some pretty pretty bad things or pretty, you know, gray area things, but ultimately they are good people because they have redeeming qualities, but it shows that heroes slash main characters, whatever you want to refer to them as in this context, can do bad things but still redeem themselves, and I think that's really important in a novel. I ended up giving this a 4 out of 5, I believe. It was a really fun read for me. I read it really, really quickly. I think it could have been better. Like, I feel I should make a video about how I rate books for you guys because a book like this, I don't put it on the same scale as something like Catcher in the Rye or um, like something like that. Like when I go into a book where I expect it to be this like really awesome literary novel, I go into it expecting it to be that, but when I go into a book like this, I expect it to be decently well written, well plotted, and really, really engaging, and this was all three of those things.
I would recommend it if you're looking for a really good dystopian sci-fi that is just a really quick read. Don't go into it expecting it to be some really elaborately well done world. This is not Terry Pratchett or Neil Gaiman. This is not epic sci-fi. This is... but it, I would say for YA, this is an amazing sci-fi dystopian. It like the fact that it got through four main characters all having viewpoints both in past and present for me is just like baffling and I just think it was extremely well done in that context and I cannot wait to pick up the next book. So if you're looking for something like that I would highly recommend it. I really did truly like it. So yeah that's my review of The 100 by Cass Morgan. If you have read or want to read this comment down below and let me know. If you have any books that you think I should read because I liked this also let me know. And like always if you want to see specific reviews or anything else from me always let me know and I will see you guys soon with another video. Happy reading! Bye!